Today is May 21st. Welcome to Newburgh News. This year's 8th grade counselor award goes to... Please meet Newburgh Middle School 8th grader, Justice Decker. In Justice Decker, you'll find kindness, humility, dedication, respect, and truth. He's a student athlete with an impressive transcript of four B's and 47 A's. Justice is gifted in both math and general intelligence and is one of the top Duke tip scholars at Newburgh Middle School. For his freshman year of high school, Justice has been accepted into the MST program at DuPont Manual High School. Justice is a quiet leader. He brings out the best in others without having to say a word. He leads by example. You can't go wrong with justice, literally. Now for some award-winning poems from our own Newburgh students. Wow, what a weird school year we've had. Let's look back at some pictures and videos. Yeah. 
Hi, my name's Terrence, and today we're going to be opening this time capsule that was buried 25 years ago. I'm opening this today because my mom was a was in seventh grade when they put this in the ground. I'm really, I really want to know what's in here. Jump rope, jump rope, yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay. The mystery team. What is that? Well, that's just a bunch of notes they wrote, but here oh, we can open up okay. some of these. Like, here's friends right. and business. Oh, so if you pull that up. Let's see what this yeah. is. Let's see what this is. The Newberg time capsule. What a great way to begin a new chapter in life of Newberg Middle School with this groundbreaking ceremony for our new school building in the thriving community of Newberg. This year's PTSA has created a renewed interest and excitement in our parents, teachers, and students. We look to the future with the promise of great things from the accomplishments of today. The mystery team wrote a bunch of notes. Explorers, the explorers <laughs> listed. Anybody recognize what this is? VHS. Yeah. VHS. Yeah. They've got other dolphins. Stuff in there. It says dolphins. Yeah. I really, this one says dolphins. Yeah. Yeah. I'm opening this. Okay. Okay. This says dolphins. Hi, I'm Andrew Watson, and this is some of the stuff we found in the time capsule. So in this pot, we found some, some names about some of, the stu some of the students who used to go here, and we found an old hotline sec um, magnet. So what are some other things in here? Well, we found a St. Louis um, card and then the itinerary for whoever took the trip. Um, the name of the group was the Challengers. We found the 1995 youth um, government thing. We also found things like this. Um, they look to be some sort of bookmarks or something. We have, we have a pencil, Houston Cougars, and uh, Looks to be a, um, a ballot for something. Okay, so in this bin, we found some Polaroids and and a scroll with some sixth graders' names, some other things. We also found some origami and like acorns from somebody's mom. Yeah. Oh, like well, then also a floppy disk. And also some kind of badge. Okay. Yeah. Tiger so in this bin, there were some pictures with messages on it to, to whoever opened the time capsule. And well, the pictures have messages on them. Like this one says, what is up? Your class will never be as cool as our class. No class will ever be as cool as ours. And then it says, signed, Desi. Maling Bay, I think. So some things in the other time capsules were pictures and newspaper articles and the scroll about some like the events that happened. What were some other things in there? Some other things that we found in the time capsule were a list of favorite things from that time. So for example, um, a favorite TV show was New York Undercover or Full House. Um, uh, favorite movies were Money Train and Dangerous Minds. Um, favorite dances were the Tootsie Roll and the Butterfly, um, and the Now and Haters and Now and Laters. Um, baggy jeans were a fashion. Um, some of the advice given was good luck. I hope you had a good time just like I did. Um, some other things that we found in the time capsule, like Andre said, were newspaper clippings. 
and then something very, very special to the 90s, which was the VHS tape. And now we go back in time to 1995. This is the 8th grade Bulldogs. This is Miss Graham, 8th grade administrator and assistant principal. She's busy at her computer. Um, probably today she's writing a memo to the teachers related to 8th graders uh, going and applying for high school programs. Uh, students are going to be visiting J-Town High School uh, they've already visited Seneca High School. They will be visiting Southern, Mower, and Fern Creek. Okay, if you take a look and survey the room, you'll notice that this is equipped with everything that an assistant principal needs. Miss Graham has a paddle that was used eons ago that's now considered an antiquity in the school system. hallway of Newburgh Middle School. These are some of the trophies that we have here at Newburgh. This is our drill team for 94. These are some of the extracurriculum activities we have here at Newburgh in 95-96. Safety patrol, rap club, scat, cats club, and this is about the volleyball tournaments that we have here today. The, we have presented to you partially. We have the Newburgh Boys Basketball, the Beta Club, the Cheerleaders in Action, NTRP. Be successful. Join the activity to have fun. This is our cafeteria. Sometimes we have assemblies in it if it's only for the 8th grade or the 7th grade or just the 6th grade. These are the portables. Let's go into one 8th grade portable, which is Mr. Ashby's technology room. We have very many groups in here, but let's look around and find a group that we have. This is the bridge group. This is Amanda, Brandon, Hi, and Corey. <laughs> oh. This is the this finished is bridge. One, which the is finished. This is the girl that's not in our group. This is Adrian Fisher. This is the layout plans for the bridges that we have to do. This is Maurice Smith. Hello. Cop J. <laughs> this is animation. This is who are you? This is Tim Hayes and Justin Trout. Another group we can go to. Is your her very own, y'all? Is car station, which I'm currently not working at. 
This is another station that we have, which is Print Shop Deluxe. This is for you. Ashley Harvey. This is Ashley. And the other person is supposed to be here. Her name's Kim. We'll get her later on on tape. This one is Alex Kirby's. And this is Monica's. And this is Alex. Tell my workstation. This is Air Pressure Station. And this is Miguel working at his. This is another station which is Flight Simulator. This is Eric Moore working at his. This also is animation. And this is Chad working at his. Well, you're in front of the camera. This is the Gear Workstation. And this is Brittany. Every month, we have a box assembly. Now, in this assembly, we see who wins these three trophies for citizenship, attendance, and outstanding team service. This time, the sixth grade has won, so they get to sit on the bleachers. The next time, we'll try for the eighth grade or seventh grade to get it. We also like to decorate our fountains. These are the posters that we have made for Newburgh Middle. You can't tame the tigers. Newburgh is the best. We don't sweat the rest. Newburgh is a cool school. Go Tigers. The question came up today, what is the groundbreaking ceremony? And I discovered that middle school kids may not know that. Um, many times when a civic building or a public building is coming up, a new one, they will honor the building, uh, wishing it good luck with a ceremony they call groundbreaking. And, and usually at those groundbreakings, they, uh, the people in charge, which is going to be tomorrow, Ms. Hoffman and your grade level administrators, they will turn uh, 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 the dirt with the shovel, okay? And that kind of wishes the good luck for the new building. This is a, this a, this is a historical event. Uh, we're all excited about the new building. We've waited on this a long time. TJ, Wednesday. Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> Wednesday and Thursday.
That's Mr. Dude, uh, basketball coach and language arts teacher. And social studies. And boss teacher. <laughs> Future president. <laughs>